Hey guys, we're going to look at multiple unit multipliers. If you thought unit multipliers were fun just by themselves, well, you're going to just jump for joy and, you know, go kiss your brothers and sisters and just wash dish after dish after dish when you start doing this. You'll be so happy. But let's go to the oldies here, okay? Convert 420 feet to yards. Well, the method, don't forget, you just write what you're given. Don't even think about it, 420 feet, there. The next thing you do is you multiply by a fraction. What has to be on the bottom? Whatever's on the top of the left fraction, okay? Feet and yards, we gotta figure out. There's three feet and one yard, and then we can cross out the feet, and bam, there we go, and that's all you do. I'm not gonna bother to finish it out. Okay, there you go. All right, now, look at this magic word, multiple, oh, sweet, all right? Let's do this and convert 360 inches to yards, all right? Well, I don't have to worry about, you know, anything except for just following the method, okay? Don't even try to think about it, just follow the method. Method is, write what you're given, 360 inches, that's it, all right? So, I'm gonna multiply by something, you know, without even thinking what goes down here, inches, right? Okay, well, inches to yards, let's pretend like you didn't know what that was. You go, okay, well, I know feet. I know there's 12 inches in one foot. I got that part. And you go, okay, well, I cross out the inches and I got it. I, I, oh, wait a minute. It's still in feet. They want yards. Oh, no, what do I do? And the answer is you just do it again. Just do the same thing again. Write another fraction. This time, what do you suppose gets written on the bottom? feet, right? We're going to get rid of the feet this time, so feet go away. Now you can go, oh, yards. So it's going to be three feet in one yard. And then we cross out feet. Now notice there are no units left. Inches are crossed out. Feet are crossed out. The only thing you have left is yards. Well, that's exactly what you want. So we're in good shape. Now we have to just go across. 360 times 1 times 1 is 360. 12, you know, if you want to put a 1 there, that's fine. 1 times 12 times 3, that's 36. Okay, so 360 divided by 36, of course, is just 10. So we have 10 yards, and there we go. Dollar is to it. Unit multipliers. See, instead of just doing a 1 like this one, you did 2 like that. Dollar is to it. Let's try another one. Use two unit multipliers. Look, they even give you a hint. Convert 1.4 kilometers to centimeters. Well... Same old thing. Don't get confused or upset or, you know, um, whatever about meters and pounds and just, just do what they are. So the first thing, you don't even think about it. Just write what you're given. 1.4 kilometers. All right. And go ahead and set up a fraction. You know what goes down here, kilometers. So kilometers to centimeters, that's not one that we all memorize, right? But we do know kilometers to meters, right? A thousand meters is the same thing as a kilometer. Now look, we can just whoop, there we go, out of there. So now we, oh, oh, wait a minute. To centimeters, we're at meters. Oh no, we have to do this again. But it's easy because we know exactly what goes on this side right here, the meters, right? So one meter is how many centimeters? A hundred, right? Okay, whoop, gone, whoop, gone. 1.4 times a thousand is 1,400, and then you times it by 100, so you just add two more zeros. There we go. Dollar is to it, and we have centimeters. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at another one. Here's a practical one. Hallelujah Grace walked 24 miles to her homeschool algebra one and a half class. How many inches? Did she walk to class? Well, I mean, piece of cake, all right? Remember, to, the first thing you need to do is write what you are given. What are you given? 24 miles, right? So just write 24 miles, okay? And multiply, and let's go immediately. You know what goes on the bottom, miles, right? Okay, well, what's the, what's the, you know, the conversion we do know? feet, right? One mile is 5,280 feet. Okay, now we cross out miles, but we still got feet and they want to know what, how many inches. Well, piece of cake. 
just do the same thing one more time and stick feet on the bottom and we know that one foot is the same thing as 12 inches. So now the feet go away and now basically you have this, this is your arithmetic problem. 24 times 5,280 times 12 and that's the number of inches. We won't bother to even solve that. In fact, I think probably in the back of your book they won't even have it solved. They'll just have this as an answer. Isn't that nice? So, okay. All right, let's do some uh, area. Now, real quickly, if somebody says to you, uh, you know, this room is 40 feet long, that's one, that's one unit, right? That's a length, like that. Now, if somebody says to you, oh, your room is 2,000 square feet, square feet, that's the two. That means you're going, you know, if you say, oh, yeah, this string is 40 feet long. But if somebody says, oh, look, your room is, you know, 2,000 square feet, what they mean is 2,000 squares in there, a foot by one foot. That is two dimensions, right? So you will sometimes see, if it's just feet, you'll see this. Oh, that's uh, 12 feet. But if somebody says to you, oh, that's 2,000 square feet, because there are two dimensions, the length and the width, they will have a two there. And I'll save the three for another day, okay? But now we're gonna convert four square feet, which is one of these things. That's a square foot, into square inches. Oh, look, there, here's a square inch, like right there, okay? So the, again, this is not gonna be something you're just gonna you know, pop off the top of your head, probably. So this is why you wanna memorize, memorize this actual method. So let's do it, okay? Now here's the, here's the fun part, all right? We're gonna convert four square feet to square inches. Don't even think, what are you given? That's what you write. What are we given? Four square feet, right? So we can just write four square feet and write a little two there. That's very helpful, all right? And the reason why we write a little two there, because of course we always do this, but think about what a foot, a foot is just this long, right? That good. A square foot means that it is one foot times another foot with two dimensions. That makes sense? Okay, so in other words, we don't just have what we had back here where we went, oh, my, one mile and there's a mile. <clears throat> That's just a length. We have area, which means we have one foot times another foot, which gives us a square foot. Should I do that a couple more times? Does that help if I do? Well, okay. Which tells us, since there's a little two there, we're gonna to have to do two fractions. And we're both gonna have feet on the fractions. In other words, we have two instances of feet to match this two. And that's the only difference. And at first you might go, ah, I bought these, but a couple of weeks go by, that won't be much, much of a problem at all. Okay, so four square feet into square inches. Okay, well, we know a foot is the same thing as 12 inches. And we also know that a foot is the same thing as 12 inches, okay? So there's our two, a foot squared, which is a foot times a foot, so those go away. That's it. So now we have four times 12 times 12. Four times 12 we know was 48. 48 times 12, if we do the arithmetic, it's 576. And this is the interesting part, and not that very big of a deal. We have now not just an inch as a length, we have an inch times an inch, which is, you know, like that. A square inch, so we put a little two there, and there you go, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Exactly the same thing, except for you write a little two there to indicate square inches or square feet or square whatevers, and then you put two fractions on the bottom to make up for the two instances of feet that you multiply. Okay, same thing here. Let's convert four square meters to square centimeters. Real quick question. Four square meters, can you visualize a square meter like this is a meter, right? So like a square meter. Okay. okay. How many square centimeters, little teeny, like little cubes of sugar, but like flat, okay, are in that? <coughs> Let's take a look. Write what you're given. Four square meters, so M2. All right. So we multiply by two, right? Two thing, two meters, a meter there and a meter here. Since a meter times a meter is a square meter, that's the same thing as that. So 
But they want squared, what, centimeters? Okay, so what, one meter is how many centimeters? Okay, and same thing here, just do it twice. And look, meters squared, well there's one and there's two. That's all there is to it. Four times 100 times 100, you can just do four times one times one, which is four, and then add one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. And then that's centimeters. A centimeter times a centimeter is a centimeter squared. That's it. There you go. Okay. Let's try another one. 400 square inches to square feet. Can you visualize square inches? Okay. All right. Well, let's try it. We're given 400 square inches. So we just write. Don't even think. Just write what you're given. 400 square inches. There it is. Okay. We just write now. We got to do, we got a little two there. We need two fractions. So we got to have an inch there and we got to have an inch there. All right. Well, let's go inches and feet. So we got what? 12 inches here and 12 inches there and then uh, one foot here and one foot there. And uh, it's like a Dr. Seuss book, doesn't it? Okay. Inches goes away, that goes away. And then 400 across times one times one is 400. And then, you know, 12 times 12 is 144. And that is a foot times a foot, which is a square foot. And then, you know, you could do the arithmetic if you wanted to um, on that. So that'd be what, 2.7777 square feet. Okay. So 400 square inches, can you visualize? 400 of those is not even three square feet. So, okay. All right, let's try on page 110, those two problems and, uh, or puzzles. Okay, pause it and try A. All right, we, know we don't go from miles to inches, we go from miles to feet, right? But don't even think, just write six miles. Write what you're given. Don't even think, just write times a, a fraction, right? Don't even think, just write miles at the bottom. We know that. Okay, miles, we don't know inches, we know feet. One mile, 5,280 feet. Okay, we got miles are gone, but the unit we have is feet, not inches. We don't want that, so we'll try it again. So we'll just stick feet on the bottom. And we know one foot is 12 inches. Feet go away. And then I'm not going to even bother to do the, the arithmetic. It's just going to be 6 times 5,280 times 12, and that's how many inches there are. Okay, done. All right, pause it and try B. Okay, well, this is square feet to square inches, so this is not something you're going to want to go, oh, yeah, I got it, whatever. Okay, so 20 square feet, just write it. 20, and write a little feet, and then write a little 2, which is your dead giveaway. I use the word dead too often in algebra. I shouldn't do that. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this is a deceased giveaway that... Sorry. Okay. This is a clear, obvious giveaway that is not in any way connected to funerals or death that you're going to have to write two fractions. So, on both of those, you're going to have to write feet because there's two examples of feet, and then that gets rid of that little two. Okay, so square inches, so one foot is 12 inches, one foot is 12 inches, and then there we go. All right, so 20 times 12 times 12, and we can do that. 240 is that part, times 12 is 2,880, and one inch this way, times one inch that way, is a square inch is why we put two because it's got two dimensions and boom there we go okay all right i will see you guys next time have a great day blessings to you thanks